it is time to bring out Joe, one of my lovely friends. He is phenomenal. I'm very excited for you to meet him. No pants, that's Everybody, how are we doing out there tonight? Woo! Man, that's a blanket of love right there. I'm so humbled and deeply appreciative of everyone that showed up and all of the new friends over on this side of the house. So, can you imagine a time you felt like this grinning little Goomba over here? I definitely can. That's not me, don't worry. I wasn't blonde as a kid. Right after I got the call, my dream job was on the other line. The day I landed the gig, though, my car got towed. I didn't read the no parking sign. In a weird way, that day was the perfect metaphor for how the next three years of my life would unfold. Growing up, I always dreamed of making it big. And in my kindergarten commencement speech, I boldly declared that one day I'd be the president. Fast forward. At 24, I see a job on the internet that promises I could get paid to fly around the world, hobnob with prestigious executives, and eat in five-star restaurants every day. Naturally, I thought it was a bit of a scam. This ad basically says, apply here to become the most interesting man in the world. So what do you guys think I did? Obviously, I applied. And two years into the most interesting job in the world, the promise was kept. I got to peer into the cutting edge of 3D printing technology. I got to lift the Super Bowl trophy over my head in the Seattle Seahawks locker room. I got to make unforgettable blunders like accidentally shitting on Japanese business customs. So guys, apparently, you can't just walk up to the COO of a major Japanese company and ask for a business card, and if you do, he'll look at you, smile, and go, ha, 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 no. <laughs> this job was incredible, but I never realized I'd have to make so many sacrifices. There are only so many times when you can be in Tokyo for mom's 58th birthday. There are only so many times grandma turns 80 without you. And there are only so many times you can turn your body's sleep schedule, your body's biological operating system upside down to cater to clients in Spain and colleagues in Singapore. Not to mention the 14-hour workdays, whether I was home or abroad. You know what I'm talking about, Levi. So I started to realize what actually matters to me is my family, my relationships, my health and well-being, basically everything I wasn't focusing on at the time. It all cracked one day in San Francisco when I found myself in the back of an Uber freestyle rapping with the head honcho of one of the world's biggest companies. Neither of us is Drake, but we had a blast. And Drake can't freestyle, by the way. We connected because in that moment, I wasn't work Joe. I was just Joe, the same Joe my friends get every Sunday afternoon. And that's the Joe I strive to be. So I started asking myself painful, scary questions. And eventually, I quit. Crap, what would I talk about at dinner parties? How would I support myself? What would I do with all that free time? Well, I'll tell you exactly what I can do now. Now, I can overeat at Thanksgiving with my family. Now, I can say yes to a random Tuesday afternoon walk with my best friend. Now, I can look my girlfriend in the eyes who was on the last slide and say, I love you every anniversary. It took leaving my dream job to understand that we're all so much more than what's on the back of a business card. You see, we, we are the sum of our hopes and our dreams and our Sunday afternoon hobbies. <laughs> our self-worth and our net worth were never meant to be synonymous. As a mentor once told me, we're human beings, not human doings. And that truth was crystal clear every time a business hotshot would get off stage, pull me aside and ask, hey kid, how'd I do? We all want to be liked and appreciated. <laughs> and that's just human nature. So guys, my story is to say this. It's who you are, not what you do, that opens hearts and minds. I believe in connection, generosity, and trust. And I believe that we, we each have the power to change at least one person. I believe we have the power to connect at the heart, to transform, and that that power, that's the actual mark of success, especially when the person we're connecting with is ourselves. The day I left my dream job, I finally started my dream life. So now, 
so now to you. What's your dream life? Are you living it? And if not, my question is, when will you start? Thank you.